boys and girls, staff, um, other members of our community, state and local government, welcome. We have a special guest with us today. He wanted to talk with you. And uh, I'll, I'll turn it over to Mr. Hess at this time to do the formal introduction. But um, I'm going to ask that you're on your best behavior. Remain quiet and seated. And uh, we'll get going with Mr. Hess, our superintendent here in Jackson County. Thank you, Mr. Hess. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here at Evans Elementary. It's always great to be at this school. It's a fine school. And students, boys and girls, you are very lucky to go to school here. You've got a great staff. You've got a great principal. You've got a great community supporting you. And it's a perfect blend of all the people that you need to help you are right here at Evans Elementary. So we're glad to be here today. We're also glad to have some guests with us today. Some of our Board of Education members, Mr. Fraser, Mr. Barnett from our school board. <coughs> Folks from the Department of Education here on the front row. I won't go through all the introductions. They can kind of wave at you. We're glad to have them here. We have some of our county office staff here as well as Senate President Carmichael and Delegate Westfall. But we're really pleased that you all could be with us today to commemorate this day and really to highlight all the hard work that the people sitting here in front of me and my staff does to uh, make Evans Elementary School such a great school. And to help us celebrate today, we're very fortunate to have someone that really cares a lot about education in the state, cares about you, and he's taking some time out of his very busy schedule to be here to talk to you about the importance of doing well in school and just to congratulate you on your fine work. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice. How y'all doing today? Yeah, that's good stuff. That's really good stuff. Well, thank you, our Senate President, Mr. Mitch Carmichael, and Delegate Westfall, and all of you wonderful dignitaries and all the great work you do. And, uh, and from Blaine and Matt, you know, introducing me and everything, I thank all of y'all. But now, let me talk to y'all just a minute, okay? Now, first of all, I feel like all the time that I'm just a big kid in a great big box. You know, believe it or not, at one time I was really skinny. And then I ate too many donuts and I got a little bit chunky. But, but I love kids and I love you beyond belief. I really do. And, and you, you know, days being the governor from time to time can get kind of tough tell you the truth. But the very best days, always my very best days are the days that I'm able to be with kids. Because, you see, you're everything to me. Everything. You drive the whole boat all the time. And the reason you drive the whole boat is this. If we had any sense at all, we'd know that why we're doing these jobs is you. And if we mess you up, then we're not going to have any state. That's all there is to it. Now, in testimony to how good your school, your teachers, all the network here right around you, whether it be all these people or all these people or whomever it may be, the network of people, the people that are around you, are affecting you in a really positive way. But you know, they can't do it without you. Now just think about this, and I've got this little note here, and I, you know, I've got to read it because it's so important to you. You know, I know it, but I want to read this because this is really important to you. And that's this. In this balance scoreboard or scorecard accountability system. When I look around the room, first of all, you're looking around and everything is distinguished and excellence and all that kind of stuff already. You have a school here at Evans Elementary that is just win after win after win after win. 
And now you have something that's happened here that's happened to nobody else in the state of West Virginia. Nobody else anywhere in the state of West Virginia has a school where in four out of five of the categories, four out of five of these categories, now next year you want to get all five, but right now, four out of five of these categories, English arts, English language arts performance, English language arts progress, math performance, math progress and attendance, four out of five of these, which if you're playing baseball, you're playing basketball, shooting from the foul line, four out of five of these is unbelievably good. Now, what does it mean to you to be the only one in the state of West Virginia? I mean, what does it mean to you to be the only one? I mean, not very often in your life, never almost, are you going to end up being the only one, the true champion, the one that has made it to the very, very, very top? You're that right now. And I am telling you, just to the good Lord above, I am telling you with all of us that are adults in this room, we are so proud of you, it's unbelievable. But now I want you to do one thing and absolutely always remember just this. And that is your teachers, your network of people, whether it be your principal or the secretaries or the people that take care of you every day, they are dealing with a ton of stuff. If you were to tell me just the truth, I would say that many of you have problems that could be coming from home and difficulties in a lot of different ways. You know, there's bad things out there like drugs and stuff like that. There's bad things out there from the standpoint of just people that are not maybe acting right. You have to deal with that. But not only do you have to deal with it, your teachers have to deal with it to be able to help you. And they've done it. And you've achieved. You don't realize just how special you really are. You know, all God's children are really, really special. But today, you put a big smile on God's face because He knows that you are knocking it out of the park. You are doing it. You're doing it right now. So you make me so happy it's unbelievable. I had the opportunity earlier today to be in another school, but I, in doing so, I asked who, who's the one person that's a boy that is just the funniest and the best and the, and, and the, the character of the school? Who would that boy be of all y'all? Who do you think would be the most, the character of all? Who would that be? I'll tell you who I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick that rascal back here in that camouflage. You. Come up here just a minute. Now what about this guy? Is he a character? You like to hunt? Yeah. <laughs> You've never been hunting, but you like to. What about this outfit you got on? You got a prescription. That's what you What's your name? What? Levi. How old are you, Levi? Lord, man, I want you on my football team. <laughs> Now, what about Levi? Is he a character at school? Yeah. Hey, he's your buddy, isn't he? I bet he's a good guy, isn't he? You've got, you got lots of friends here, you know that? Isn't it good to have a lot of friends? Now, what really important message would you say to all of them? You've got to tell something that will change their lives and make them even better. So think about what you're going to say. How about 
about to say, first of all, you look awful good in camouflage, to tell you the truth. And you've got these purple kind of blue glasses on, that, 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 that makes you look good too. But now, what if you were to tell them you're really proud of them for doing as good as they did? Can you tell them that? I'm really proud of them for doing as good as they did. <laughs> And the other thing you need to tell them is you need to tell them, what if you said to them that they make you smile and you hope they, that, that you make them smile? You make them smile and I hope that I make you smile. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. In my life, I don't know how to be bad. I really don't. But now I gotta call on a girl. And I gotta call on the one that is the character of the characters. And the only one I can think of is this character's got this big giant bow in her hair right here. Come here. Can y'all cheer for her? You look special. What's your name? Vivian. Vivian? And how old are you, Vivian? Like 18? Seven. Seven. What grade are you in, Vivian? Second. Second. How about that hair bow? Where'd you get that? At a cheer competition. Did you do good in that cheer competition? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You like the cheer? Uh-huh. And what would you say profound to all these people? You can't say something like, you're for world peace. You can't do that. Okay? But you can say, we are for world peace. You know? but, but you can say, what would you like to say? You just figure it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you and me got to be going on with that. Oh, yeah. You are so beautiful. You know that? All right. How many boyfriends do you have out there right now? <laughs> Who believes that? How many think that she's got more than one boyfriend? <laughs> well, I don't want to be your boyfriend instead of you. Because I'm telling you right now, you are really cool. But maybe you can tell them just like me. Y'all be quiet now. Y'all be quiet. She's going to tell you, just like Levi, that all of you should always love one another. Can you do that? All of you should love one another. And all of you should try to help each other. All of you should try to help each other. And remember, and you can say, remember, I'm going to be there for you, and I hope you're going to be there for me. Okay, y'all cheer for me. Okay. Man, I've got something really special to present to the principal and to the school, and okay, now I want y'all to look at this right here. Man, is that nice? And you, you know, you know where this came from, how this came into being? It happened because of you. You caused this to happen. Okay, now, I'm going to read it. It says, West Virginia Schools Balanced Scoreboard. Governor Jim Justice and the West Virginia Department of Education recognize Evans Elementary School, Jackson County, for exceeding, that means getting more, for exceeding standards in the following areas during the 2018-2019 school year. Now these are the areas that you exceeded in. 
You are exceeded in English language arts performance, mathematics performance, English language arts progress, and mathematics progress. The only one out of the five that you didn't get all five in is attendance. So you've got to work on that. Everybody's got to get to school because you could just get better and better and better. Now, what if we were to do this? If the principal and I guess the superintendent would come up, is that who we're, we're, we're giving this to? The principal, I'll let him take care of it. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah! <laughs> 